Kaya. Kaya doesn't know what the heck's going on. Guess what, Kaya? Neither do I. Oh, glow. Wow, such glow. Very bright. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my most anticipated books of 2015. You guys, this list is really, really long. I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to give you, try and give you maybe like a brief, like totally brief synopsis of each book, but I have so many and this rambling introduction is not helping my case any. So I'm just gonna get into it, okay. All right, I'm going to get started with January releases, ooh la la. Okay, so starting in January 2015, the first book that I am anticipating is Firefight by Brandon Sanderson, which is the second book in the Steelheart series. So for anybody who doesn't know, Steelheart is like an anti-superhero type of book. And if you're wondering, no, I have not read Steelheart yet, but I know it's really good. I know that I'm going to love it when I read it, but I also know Jeff really enjoyed it and that he is totally looking forward to this book. Freaking fix your muffler, dude. This book is set to release on January 6th. The next release that I am excited for is called Frostfire, and this is by Amanda Hawking. So Amanda Hawking also did the Water Song Quartet, so that's that really pretty like wake cover. And this is a new young adult fantasy. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a new series, and basically it's about a girl who's looking to become a part of the King's Guard so that she can defend the royal family. I think. I don't know. It looks really good. It sounds really good. P.S. I am going to put down below the Goodreads page for all of the books that I'm mentioning because clearly I am terrible at summarizing, you know, what books are about. Anyways, we know this. This part also comes out on January 6th and so does the next book. There's a lot of good books coming out January 6th. So the next one I'm really excited for is called All the Bright Places, and this one is by Jennifer Niven. This is said to be like a mix between Eleanor and Park and The Fault in Our Stars. Hello, yes please, gimme gimme more, gimme more Britney Spears. I need this book. And it says here that it is, it is an exhilarating and beautiful story about a girl who learns to live from a boy who intends to die. <gasps> God, give me that book. I need that book. The next one also comes out January 6th, and that is the third book in the Arcana Chronicles, which is by Cresley Cole, so Poison Princess and Endless Night. And then this one's gonna be called Dead of Winter. So I haven't started this series yet, but I'm excited to, to get this book so I can start the series and just kind of marathon through them. The series looks really, really good, and I really, really want it. Okay guys, the next one should literally come as no surprise to you because you guys know how I feel about this series. At least I hope you do by now. The next one is Fairest by Marissa Meyer, which is an itch on my nose. Which is point five of the Lunar Chronicles book. So this is gonna be a novella and it's following Queen Lavanna, which Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited for this. This one's coming out on January 27th. January 27th, yes. The next one I'm most excited for is also coming out January 27th, and this is by Elizabeth Ewellberg. This is called We Can Work It Out, and this is the second book of The Lonely Hearts Club, which I read The Lonely Hearts Club, I think, last year, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was a really, really cute book about a group of girls who kind of form a club of, like, single ladies, and yeah, it's amazing. I, I really, really liked it and I'm excited for this second book too. The last one I'm excited for that's coming out in January, on January 31st, is a book by Colleen Hoover called Never Never. So this is going to obviously be kind of like a new adult type book. Colleen Hoover is an amazing writer. She's gonna soon be one of my auto-buy authors, so this one is no exception. Never Never is on my list. Never ever have ever felt so no. Moving into February, the first book that I am really excited for that's coming out in February is called Red Queen. And this is by Victoria Aviard. 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 Whatever. This is another young adult fantasy series that is just starting. This will be book one. So this is about, about like a group who is like poverty stricken, so the Reds, and they work under the rule of the Silvers who are like the elites and they're kind of like gods and have powers and stuff. And the story follows a 17 year old girl who's obviously just going to break the mold because that's what happens. I'm really excited. It looks really, really good. The cover is, oh my god, amazing. And that one comes out on February 10th, and so does the next one. So the next book that I'm excited for in February is by Cynthia Hand, who was the author of like the Earthless, Boundless, Unearthly, 
trilogy? I didn't read it, I don't know. But this one is going to be a contemporary novel. It's called The Last Time We Say Goodbye. And the little tiny like three sentence blurb for this just says there's death all around us We just don't pay attention until we do so that just kind of rips me in and I think that it sounds really really good And I'm excited. I'm excited for this book. I think it sounds interesting the next one also comes out on February 10th, clearly another great release date. And that book is The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. This is yet another young adult fantasy sci-fi type of book, and the cover itself just kind of draws me in, I'm not gonna lie. And it basically says, The Handmaid's Tale meets Blood Red Road in Glass Arrow. So it's a story of Aya who lives with a small group of women on the run from the men who hunt them. Men who want to auction off breeding rights of the highest bidder. What? That sounds so good. I'm so excited for this one. This is probably the one that I'm most excited for in February. I'm saying that before I get to the rest of them, so don't quote me. Next up, we have one from Jennifer L. Armentrout, a new series called The Return. This one's coming out on February 17th. This is a young adult fantasy romance type of book. The only thing that I have to say about this book before, I mean, Jennifer L. Armentrout is just one of those people who is going to be like an auto buy author for me. Her books are amazing. She's such a great writer, but the covers of her books make me want to die. Like they are so horrible and this one is no exception. It's literally bleh. I don't like it. Anyways, it's about like a boy who made like a deal with the gods and he pledged his life to them and that kind of stuff. So yeah, it looks really good. Jennifer L. Armentrout, I gotta say, I'm I'm excited, even though the cover is real shitty. What you gonna do? Victoria Schwab has a new book coming out in February as well, on February 24th. She has a new book coming out called A Darker Side of Magic. Once again, a young adult fantasy book. I think, talking out of my butt here, people, I don't really know. So, I don't know if I said the title right before, but it's A Darker Shade of Magic, and it is a young adult fantasy novel, and it's written under V.E. Schwab and not Victoria Schwab, just so you know. And it says that this is a universe of daring adventure, thrilling power, and parallel London. So I'm assuming like a parallel universe type of story. And yeah, I mean, it sounds really good. Ooh, this one, I'm actually the most excited about this one for February. I know I said that about the glass arrow, but definitely for this one. On February 24th, we have Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott, which is the second book in the Fire and Flood series. I loved the first one. Like, I friggin' I loved it. It was so good, so action-packed. It's honestly, it is kind of like a mix between The Hunger Games and Pokemon, or Jeff said it's also kind of has a bit of his dark companions. I don't know. Whatever the Golden Compass is, kind of has that kind of feel as well. I'm I'm beyond excited for this one. Definitely one of my most anticipated books of 2015. Moving into March, we have yet another young adult fantasy. There are a lot of really promising YA fantasies coming out in 2015. This one is called The Orphan Queen, and it is by Jody Meadows, and it's about a freaking princess. Yes, she's a princess. She's a spy. She's a threat. Who wouldn't want to read that? That sounds friggin' amazing. I don't even care what the rest of the storyline is. That sounds cool, and I'm buying it. I'm buying into that. The cover is really pretty as well. Oh, this one, you guys. So excited. I'm moving on to April now, and the next book that I'm beyond excited for is coming out on April 7th, and it's by Mindy Kaling, who I love. Mwah. She's a queen. This is her second book, and it's called why not me? So I've previously read Mindy's book, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns. I absolutely loved it, so I'm so excited to get this one for sure. I will be getting this on audiobook to listen to because these types of books are just so much better on audiobook, so I'm very excited for that. Next one I'm excited for is called The Girl at Midnight, and this one is by Melissa Gray. This book is another YA paranormal fantasy, and it pretty much just says, for anybody who is a fan of Cassandra Clare, Mortal Instruments, Lee Bardugo, Shadow and Bone, then this is the book for you. And it's a modern girl caught in an ancient war. So that sounds pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Oh my god. Jeff is right. I'm really bad at like reviews and stuff. Anyways, doesn't matter. It comes out on April 28th and it's on my TBR. My back hurts. Okay, this is another one that I would literally buy just for the cover because the cover is so pretty. It's called Magonia, and this is by Maria Tavana Headley. And this says that it is a mix between Neil Gaiman's Stardust and John Green's The Fault in Our Stars. I don't know. I don't know how those two would ever possibly work, but I'm really intrigued to see. This is another young Aldo. It's a young adult fantasy romance, and I'm really excited. The cover is so pretty, so 
friggin' pretty. This book is about a girl who is caught between two worlds, two races, and two destinies, and I'm excited. I'm so excited. And I don't know if I said that one comes out on April 28th. Let's move into May, shall we? The best month of the year because that's the month I was born. On May 5th, we have a new book coming out by Sarah J. Moss. She has a new series. Yes, new series, which means I really need to read Throne of Glass before this one comes out. This new book is called A Court of Thorns and Roses. And of course, this is yet another YA fantasy because everything that I'm excited for this year is apparently YA fantasy. It says this book is sexy, action-packed, and impossible to put down. Count me in. This book has a lot of like different elements in it as well. So there's like wolves and there's fairies and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see it because I've heard such amazing things about Sarah J Moss's writing that I, I want to see what she's got going on in this series. Another one for May 5th is by Sarah Dessen, who is like one of the queens of contemporary. She has a new book coming out called Saint Anything, and Sarah Dessen is an autobi author for me. I have all of her books, almost all of her books. I do not have all of her books, but I have almost all of her books, and I always enjoy them. So I know that I'm going to end up getting this one, and I know I'm going to end up enjoying it because it's Sarah Dessen, and who doesn't love a cute contemporary every now and then? I know. I do. Next one, also on May 5th, is a YA dystopian. Finally, I've been waiting for a dystopian on my list. And this one is called Tracked, and it's by Jenny Martin. Fast and the Furious gets a sci-fi twist in this action-packed debut. Sounds pretty good. The cover's appealing to me. So I'm, I'm going to go for it because I love dystopians. I feel like I have hardly... No, that's a lie. I read them all the time. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, this one I'm so excited for and probably one of my most anticipated books for the year. On May 12th, we have the third book in the Penryn and the End of Days series by Susan E. Oh, I love the first two books so much. The series is amazing. And this one is called End of Days. And I'm really, 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 really excited for it. This is about an apocalypse featuring angels. The angels are literally losing their shit and they're murdering all of the people. So I love this series. I'm excited for this book. Next up, I have another one for the month of May. This is called Made You Up, and it's by Francesca. Ooh, Francesca. Francesco. Francesca Zappia, and this is a young adult contemporary realistic fiction. And this is one of those stories where you kind of have to keep second guessing yourself because there is a very unreliable narrator, kind of being compared to Silver Linings Playbook type of thing. So clearly, the main character has some kind of a psychological disorder. So it's basically the main character is fighting between the difference between reality and delusion. So I'm excited. That sounds like it's right up my alley. I'm into that. And that comes out on May 19th. Next up is another book that is from a series that I haven't started yet, but I'm hoping to start soon because I've heard really good things about it. This is the second book after Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. It's called The Heart of Betrayal, and this one is coming out on July 7th. We've moved in July, by the way. I skipped June because there's nothing that I'm really excited for coming out in June. Another one for July. On July 28th, we have a new book coming from Ernest Klein, who's the author of Ready Player One. This one is called Armada, and this is a YA science fiction novel, and it's going to be good. Jeff is going to really enjoy this one, I know, because he loved Ready Player One. In August, we have a new book coming out from Patrick Ness on August 28th. It's called The Rest of Us Just Live Here. This is another YA science fiction novel. It's like, what if you lived in a world a lot like a YA novel where people you know have already battled vampire zombies and soul-eating ghosts and whatever this new thing turns out to be. What if you just want to go to prom and graduate before someone goes and blows up the high school again? Sounds interesting. Patrick Ness, fantastic author, so it's going to be good. Moving into September, we have another new book from Cassandra Clare. This one is called Lady Midnight, and this is the start of a new series. So this is kind of like another just new storyline to the Shadowhunter type of series. So I don't need to explain it. You guys know that what shadow hunters are. So there we go. On September 8th, Wendy Higgins, who is the author of the Sweet Trilogy, is releasing a, another book. And this is the Sweet Trilogy number four. I know it's confusing because trilogies are only meant to have three, but it's going to continue. And this one is called Sweet Temptation. I have not started this series yet either, but I'm planning to in 2015. Hopefully I'll be caught up by the time this book comes out. On September 10th, Sarah J. Moss is putting out the fourth book in the, um, beep, beep, 
Oh my god. In the Throne of Glass series, and it's untitled as of right now, so I don't, I don't even know. Maybe it won't even come out that day, but that's what it says right now. On October 8th, Lee Bardugo is coming out with a new series. This one is called Six of Crows, and it's another YA fantasy series. And once again, not really sure what this one is about, but I'm excited because she's a good author. And my most anticipated book of the year on November 24th, can you guys guess what it is? It's Winter by Marissa Meyer. I cannot wait for this book. I am going to pre-order it. I'm getting it the second it comes out, and I'm going to devour that book. I cannot wait. You guys, I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, but I can see my bl my blattery. God. My battery light is flashing, so that means I am almost out of time here. But those are the books that I am most excited for for 2015. Let me know down below some of the books you're excited for. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. So sorry that I talked a thousand miles a minute. It is what it is. I had so many books to get through. <sighs> I had so much coffee today, I need to go to friggin' bed. Okay, bye. <coughs> if I'm blurry. If I'm blurry, I'm sorry, but my eyes are like all wonky. Don't hit me because you hate me. Jeez. Mm -mm. But I don't know. I don't know what it's about, but it looks good. Yeah. If I can't insert pictures here, I'll insert them anyways. It doesn't matter. I'll edit this part out. So let's move on. Next one is uh, on Vic on what? Man time. It's frozen. Kaya. Kaya, do you hate me? Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting, tingling too.